Hello, welcome. And I didn't forget to switch the microphone over, so that's good. Also, it is still a little light out. Oh, actually, quite a bit light out. It's kind of twilight. If I turn the lights off, you can see that the light is still shining in one moment. Uh, is that enough? One moment, maybe, maybe this as well. If you look like that, at that, you can see the light is still coming in from that side. Yes? Probably a little bit. There are still lights on in the corner there, but I can't switch those off. You can kind of see the light coming in from, from this angle, like that. But it will be dark soon, so I'll just turn them back on. Also, I will mute this so that it doesn't get picked up by the microphone again. Hello! Welcome, Kangafango. 10-4, right. Hello, Eliza, Carol, VGR, welcome. Keep an eye on the battalions on r slash place. Let me know if those... All right. Uh, any more moves? Mm -hmm. Hello. So, uh, I'll... <clears throat> I'll show you where we're driving. Oh, I know, I'll just... Oh no, I might as well switch over now. So... We're, we're driving from Edinburgh down to London, which on the map, you can see, is all the way from up here all the way down to there. So this entire bit, with the Flying Scotsman. So you can see from up here all the way down to there. I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little better. But, we're not doing it in one go, in fact we've already done two parts. Namely, we went from Edinburgh to Newcastle, and then last time we went from Newcastle to York. There are two more parts to go. The one we're going to be doing today is from York down to Peterborough. So, from York down to Peterborough. And then next time, maybe not next Monday because we might do something else next Monday, but Next time we do Train Simulator after that, we're going to do Peterborough to London, which is the final bit. So this is the penultimate leg of the journey. So, I've already started Train Simulator in the background, so here we are. <coughs> well, it is nice for them to fire up the loc- it would be nice for them to fire- for- of them to fire up the locomotive for us, but this is right after we- we stopped here. I've deliberately set the time of day to the exact time of day that we uh, that we left off, so 7.30 in the morning, because this is one, supposed to be one journey, it's just split into different streams. So, <coughs> here we are. Let's turn this off. You see, we are at station, namely York. We did leave off on this platform, I believe, but I couldn't select that one on the quick drive. So we're starting from this platform. Let me show you the in-game map as well. So we are starting up here, and we're going all the way down to there. So let's get going. Open the cylinder cocks. Release the tra train brake, release the loco brake, sound the whistle. Turn on the head coach, well, set the head coach. And we're about to go. Here we are. Let's make sure the signal's okay. Yes, good. The audio too loud? I know it's a bit loud, that's because the cylinder clocks are open. It'll be quieter once I close them, which I can do now. There we are. See? It's nowhere near as loud as it was before. Because I didn't do anything to the game audio. What's the speed limit? Probably like 15? Oh, 30. Interesting. Um, yeah, I don't really care what people are drawing there. 
It isn't that 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 whole thing isn't really my thing. Uh <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Right, so we're about to pass oh we have already passed 90 speed limit, so now we can basically go as fast as we want. And we'll see how how long that'll persist. Okay, so we're picking up speed. Already approaching 45 miles an hour. Very nice. Approaching 60. Let's start shoveling coal. <laughs> It should be a hundred here. Good, good. And yes, the scenery on this leg of the journey isn't going to be spectacular. Basically, this is pretty much it. <laughs> but no, there, well, no, there are there are some nice little bits later on. But it is fun to drive. Especially in an express locomotive. Well, yep, we are letting it steam, and thank you for not oversaturating the fire. It smells like a western, haha. Uh -huh. Yes. Would you care to elaborate? Wait, that's a. Okay, hold on. AWS, okay. That means there's a speed reduction coming up, yes? If it's um, a double yellow that's flashing? Yes, there's a 45. <coughs> And this map actually features some AI. Okay, it's still over a mile away, so I'm just gonna let it coast for now. I already did in the last tier stream, or the one before. Yes, but you brought it up again, so go ahead. Basically, I drove this route with the BR Class 52 AP's BR Blue variant. Okay, so it's basically after that signal coming up there. So, might as well start slowing down a little bit. We're not going, we're not, we, we won't have to slow down too much. Only 10 miles an hour. And we're there, good, good. So let's put the brake back onto running. Ah, of course the AWS. There, of course there would be another one. Well, yeah, that's the issue. I wanted to see where the signals were to be able to see when I need to do the thing, but then of course I didn't hear the AWS because you can't hear the AWS even though you're sticking your head just out the window. Anyway. 
No, no, a 10 miles per hour speed reduction is what I meant. So you, we'd have to go 10 miles per hour slower than what we were doing. But, I mean, it's okay if it happens, if the uh, AWS stops us this uh, this early when we're going slow because we we're crossing over anyway. Um, sin and since it was a quick drive, I pretty much had nothing to do except full throttle it the entire time. Also, did you see my message about Swells Metro Western? You mean, I know it's called Train Simulator, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I see. Photoshop, Adobe Photo Stop. Oh, Photo Stop. Oh, Photoshop, Adobe Photo Stop, I see. Wait, that guy's got a clear signal? No. Is he going a little fast for the signal? Oh, it's clear. It's it's gone through now. That's okay. Yeah, and the speed limit's gone back up to up 150, which means we can basically full throttle it as much as we want at the moment. The, but this is ridiculous, Mr. Cruz referring to the very loud cylinder what we're saying. Oh, haha. <laughs> and yes, this leg is 112 miles, and we've already gone six of them. Luck, I guess. Like I said, I don't really much care about that. But anyway, who's up for a game of pool? <laughs> I know it sounds like it, but it must just be some maybe something to do with the buffers where the, the springs are being compressed or something like that. Oh no, look! It's Bulgy! He's still he's still ahead of us! Oh, or is that... No, no, that's him. That's gotta be him, because that's the way to London. Over to the left, that's the way to Nuremberg. Just going just under 70 miles an hour. We did lose a little bit of steam because I didn't reduce the cutoff. Uh, well, I, I, re I, re I reduced the cutoff a little late. But that's okay. LNRT. <laughs> Yes, clear, good, good. And another one? Maybe? Ah, oh, back there. You can see the AWS ramp just there. It's the compression. 
doesn't um, <clears throat> make it too unrecognizable. You can see the AWS are just there. Bring. See? Ah, yes, made with that. Good, good. Okay, going at 76 miles an hour and speeding up quite quickly. Good, good. <laughs> I remember when I first started playing Train Simulator, I had no idea what any of these controls did. And it, it always, before that, it always used to be just such a daunting sight looking in a steam locomotive. It's just like all the, all the things, like, yeah, you've got that, and you've got that, and you've got that, and you've got that, and that, and that, and that. Oh, and there's another thing, and there's a thing to pull, and there's a thing to twist, and somehow this makes the thing go. Um, of course, since then, it's changed a bit. Are the gauges unlit? I'm not aware. I don't know. Um, perhaps? I'd have to go in at night. I don't know. We're about at 88 miles an hour. And save. Oops, and save. If I, there we go. Couldn't find the mouse pointer there for a second. We've only got a hundred more miles to go to Peterborough. It's just the wise old owl. Oh, I see. Hello there. Nice Scotsman coming by. Wake up, look out the window. But that does look like we're going quite fast, doesn't it? Like this. Ninety-five miles an hour. Ninety-six. Let's see if we can get a nice image with a tree on it as well. Very nice. Um, how much coal we got left? Well, uh, because these are separate maps, and I couldn't find a, I couldn't find a, a map that connected them all to on one map. So because these are all separate maps and all separate quick drive scenarios, the coal and water levels reset at the beginning of each leg of the journey. Now I don't think that the coal would be an issue. I think we would have enough coal to make the journey because the real life Flying Scotsman did have enough coal to make the journey, but the issue would be water because in real life Flying Scotsman, along with other locomotives, was quite common for, for express trains especially, was to refill from water troughs. So you had these long water troughs in between the two rails and you would lower a scoop on the on the tender and that would refill the water tank as you went. Now all of the 
all of the East Coast Main Line maps in Train Simulator, all of the parts of the route are set in modern times. Which means that there are no water troughs, there are no water towers, you can't refill water. So I think, we, yeah, we, we would have run out of water. So we kind of have to do it in multiple legs because of that reason, even if we did have a map that combined them. But if you want to know the, the exact number, we have 15,812 pounds of coal. And I need to fill in water. Which means that I've got to lower this down. Okay, so we are now slowing down a little bit, but we are refilling water. Ring, but ring, good. Twelve cubic ounces? Who knows? At least half tank, good. Well, bunker, well, relatively modern. Well, I said modern times, as opposed to. Steam time, steam era. This one's set in the intercity swallow days, for example. Yeah, well, I still count that as modern times if you've got the HSTs running on it. Hmm, 70? Is that 70 for us as well? I don't think so. I think that might be for freight trains. By the way, Kango, all those mods on your convoy archive are just that? What do you mean? By the way, all those mods on your convoy archive are just that? Oh yeah, for sure. What's a few decades difference? I don't know what you mean either. Just watch the scenery go by. And we are very slowly losing boiler pressure, but... That is very, very slow. Yeah, I'm wary of the AWS. They sneak up on you, through the corridor tender, oh no! Why is that guy going so slowly? Hmm. Ooh, just those? Let's have a look. I believe that Russian one we put out, we took out because it didn't work which is the second one from the top. But other than that, I think those are all the mods that we, we were using last time around. Okay, we need to regain some boiler pressure here. 
That's the current model, mod list, minus the second from the top. Yes. We might add two more for the list for the next convoy. It's not set in granite yet, though. Hmm. For the next one, are we doing a minigame again? I really enjoyed uh, being the runner last time in with the delivery detective. Or is that not decided yet? Yeah, we are losing quite a bit of speed at this point. Unfortunate as it may be. But that should help. Uh, special transport thing? Oh, we could, yeah, if, if that works. If it works. I don't know. Well, would you join if we d if we did do the convoy, if we did do the uh, special transport thing, if it works? Well, the thing about the cars is that it doesn't work for us. The the shaders don't work. So you wouldn't be able to use that because we can't it, it doesn't work. Okay, the water tank, the well, the boiler water level is almost full enough for us to be able to accelerate again more. Um, yeah, just looks just looks broken, unfortunately. Use the latest version that worked. I can I can download it. Hmm. I, I don't know. I haven't... Yeah. I'll leave that up to Kango. <laughs> there we go. I apparently wasn't shoveling in coal when I thought I would. When I thought that I was, I mean. That explains a lot. Okay, let me close the injectors. Injectors closed. And off we go. Accelerating back up to more than 70 miles an hour. Actually, look over there. Whoosh. Ah, that road is a bit grassy.
Okay. Back over 80. Good. I know you like big off-road trucks. That does look nice. Ni it would be nicer if the grass didn't grow on the road, but that's fine. It really isn't, but... Can't do anything about it. <laughs> Hello, slow train! No, it actually is. Look at how slow it is. One, okay, that's 105, then 100, and then 120. Oh, we're gonna go past Doncaster! Wasn't Flying Southland built in Doncaster? Could you look up if Flying, where Flying Southland was built? Or was it Swindon? No, I, th I think it was Doncaster, wasn't it? When Flying Scotland was built? I mean, I'd look it up, but I can't at the moment. Going through Doncaster. 1923, Doncaster. Yeah, I was right, Doncaster. So this is where Flying Scotland was built. Very nice. Yeah, it is, well, his birthplace. It is Scott's man, after all. <laughs> but yes, usually locomotives are seen more as feminine. <laughs> Very nice. Let's give you a little bit of an overview of the area. You can see Doncaster works over here. Okay, that's all doing good. I don't cost the works designed by Nigel Gresley. I wonder why no other A3s were preserved. There were so many. I don't know. Maybe because the A4s replaced them? And so more A4s were preserved? <coughs> Also, there's a route specifically de de dedicated to Doncaster Works on Steam. I know, but I don't think I would find that that interesting for... I mean, for a short term, yes. Doing chanting around there would, I think, be quite interesting and also challenging, but I don't think I would play on it a lot. Also, the audio on those HSTs is, is, does seem a little broken with how it just cuts in. That is, makes sense, but at least we still have LNER's number 4, 472, and NWR's number 4. Northwestern Railway's number 4? Is that a different locomotive to LNER's 4472? <laughs> it could be. Ah yes, very use of very often used sidings here. Does look quite quick, doesn't it? And bridge. 
Was there a bridge? Oh, the bridge is all the way still back there. Yeah, real fast, thank you. <laughs> Should have whistled for that crossing. Yes, I didn't see it, I thought it was a bridge. There you go, now I've whistled for the crossing. I will have to slow down again in a little bit to refill water into the boiler. Mm. Ah, going down to 110. That's fine. We're, we're not gonna <coughs> surpass 110. Ooh, <coughs> going 98.5. I think that's the fastest we've gone on this run, if I recall correctly. Okay, now I need to definitely refill water. Which means that I unfortunately need to reduce the throttle quite a substantial amount. So we are going to slow down a bit. train. Again, going very slowly. Still kind of staying at around 95 miles an hour. Slowing down very slowly. You're class 66. Was it? Good. I think that was a little too late, but it's fine. Okay, just passing some loops. I don't know what these loops are actually called. Center player. Um, Ran skill down loop. Yeah, we've already made it quite a ways. 
Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> hmm, that is, is that interesting? List of British Rail locomotive classes. Okay. What could have been? What do you mean, what could have been? Um, did I not see that list correctly? I, I didn't really have time to properly look at it. Unbuilt. Oh, unbuilt. Ah, that makes sense. That does not link anywhere useful. But the, the link, the second one you put in, doesn't link to anything useful. There's the link. For me, it just says... The second one you put in. For me, it just says... Uh, Wikipedia does not have an article with this exact name. HSD? HSD. See, it's so nice having traffic on these. Even if the traffic is going very slowly. Oh, the driver's sitting in the wrong end! That's why it's going so slowly. Oh, oh, I see now. Uh, 442S network class 158 printer combo. And where are we? Center player. We're pass. Uh, hold on. We're passing. Redford! Redford! Hey, can go with Redford! Only more couples ever built, though. Hmm. Imagine that for trains. Well, that would be very nice. It's a high quality thing. I'm so glad that the light issue is fixed. Which means that I can actually continue making my first ever train for trains. Which will be uploaded to the DLS when it's finished. Road Road! You can just imagine when Steam ran up and down this all day long. That's fine. I am tempted to bits to attempt to model that, but I will train myself. Train? Wait, no. That's restrain. Oh, right. Hmm. 
And yeah, I'm very happy about that too. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to see it. <laughs> well, you will at some point. Because the actual modeling part of it, I'm I'm quite good at modeling with Blender, so that's not a problem. It's the the problem is just well getting into the trains, and everything seems to be working fine now. There are no issues that have yet to be resolved with that. So all that remains now is pretty much just to finish the modeling and then do the texturing. And yes, I will probably I will make a, a custom cab, but I will not animate the controls. Uh, at least I won't do it unless it isn't as complicated as I think it will be. Like I might do the the what's it called the speedometer needle the uh, yeah, so that you can actually see how fast you're going inside, but. Again, I don't know how complicated that would be to do. Very nice bit of the route here. Uh, UV mapping? Yes, I will have to unwrap it as well. And you don't have to worry, I will unwrap it in such a way that it will be easy to do reskins of it, because I know that that is an important thing to take into consideration. Oh, and we've got only 56 miles to go. And the boiler is also almost filled again, and we've actually managed to keep above 90 miles an hour during this refilling process, this time around. It's nice. <laughs> uh, or is that LM? What do you mean? No, LM is the loading thing. IM is the indexed mesh. I know it's very confusing and it did cause me trouble, but it was cleared up. Mm -hmm. I think we've got time for another flyby. Yeah, and the, the cloud shadows add so much to this experience. Because if I just go back like this, you can see the cloud shadows and you do genuinely feel them as you're driving along. Now you, actually, hold on, I'll quickly close the injector just so I don't accidentally prime the engine. Um, but yeah, you might have seen that this route doesn't exactly have a lot of scenery either side of the tracks. So you can see just it's, it's mostly just field boundaries to there and then nothing, which I really... If this was a train's route, I couldn't leave it at that. But then again, if you're down here, you don't really see that far, because it is, after all, quite flat here, so... Uh... <clears throat> Lot 4 LM. No, the LM... So the way that the LM works is you've got one LM file for the model, which then 
contains references to the different models. It's a bit difficult to explain. Incoming AWS, oh incoming call, oh, I see. Acknowledge, ignore, three, two, one. Ooh, 98.4. 98.5. It's a straight bit as well, no downhill here. So it'd be cab lever regulator dot LM, which would then contain references to individual log meshes in the config. Well, each LOD mesh would be its own dot IM file, and then you'd have one LM file, which then references all the IM files, which doesn't get confusing at all, especially since those endings look very, very, very similar. Wait, are we blowing off currently? Oh no, we m I have to put in more, more fuel. That explains it. I was wondering why are we hem hemorrhaging so much pressure? It's because the <laughs> I stopped the shoveling for a moment. Alright, very, very UK. Yeah, it does look very UK. Hmm, kind of like the Midlands, I suppose. Yes, and that looks like a... <clears throat> a door. Very interesting. A door, yes. Okay, now I can increase the regulator again. Yeah, because you really do have to keep the fire mass high if you're traveling at such speeds. Bathley Lane. That's safe. I have to visit the, uh, the Midlands RL. Oh, why? Why do you have to go there? Oh, do you have a friend who lives there who you want to visit, maybe? Is that why you have to go there? I have yet to visit. Oh, that makes more s- ah, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that wasn't my initial thought, but yeah. <laughs> Going down to a hundred. New R platform two. No, not the one in America. No, no, the, it, no, the one in England. Oh look, river ship simulator, whatever it's called. Ooh, that's a nice bridge. River Simulator 2012. Ah, that was it, yes. And I did read the up messages above, yes. Yeah. 
Yes, yeah, Bush. Not on Steam, Anfort. What? What do you mean, not on Steam, Anfort? Unfortifications, which are not on Steam? I, are you, are you sure you're not a little tired there, Kango Fango? Shush. Yes. Unfortunately, I was. Alright. Not on Steam. Unfortunately. River Simulator 2012 is unfortunately not on Steam. Ah, I see. That makes more sense. I mean, I didn't really like the game. It was just really boring and it didn't look that pretty. And it wasn't even multiplayer. I mean, Ship Simulator Extreme, if it did still have the mission system, might be fun to play around with for a little bit. We've got 41.7 miles to go. Willis 961, greetings, fellow passenger. Oh, hello, welcome. We're on our way from York down to Peterborough, which is the penultimate leg on our four-leg journey from Edinburgh to London. In, of course, good old Flying Scotsman. Ahem, I said. Good old Flying Scotsman. It's just in the room next door. All right. Would you like to join the game of pool that's being held in the carriage? It's just going next door. I know it sounds like pool, but it's not. Or billiards, if you prefer. There's a swimming pool? Yes, this is the TARDIS, didn't you know? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like there are billiards, like billiard balls being uh, shot, if you listen. There's knocking sounds. And I need to fill in water. Which does unfortunately mean that I have to reduce the regulator. Underwater pool game, yes. <laughs> Tell you what, since you're here, I'll I'll just give you an, another li nice little flyby. At milepost one fourteen, apparently. Eleanor Bathysphere coach. Only one was ever built. <laughs> Did does the UK have some dome cars? I do not think so, no. But there are observation cars that go on the back of trains. Like there's the... I'm not sure how many there are. Like the... I know there's one which the Flying Scotsman took to America, which is actually the one that's right here. In the... At the... the South, South Devon railway that goes from Paynton to Kingswear. Well, maybe you can show a picture of that, Kango, if you can find it. Uh, observation cars, yes, but dome cars, more than simply no. Uh, yes, Devon Bell, that is exactly the one that I meant. We do have that. 
Very local to my real life location. <laughs> yes, you do live in the yard, don't you? Wait, what? <laughs> well, you said very local to the area. Look at this magnificent high-speed train. Yes. This one is the high-speed train. Not the one that just flew by at over 90 miles an hour. No, this one. That's the high-speed train. Hmm. What was that? I don't know. What do you mean? What I said? One fifteen limit. Oh, and we're going uphill a little bit. Also visible here. Oh, that's the YouTube video. That is my YouTube video. Haha. <laughs> yes, indeed. That's all good. And there is a... Is there a tunnel coming up ahead? Yes, which means that I will have to cease the shoveling. So I might as well shovel in as much coal as I can now. I mean, it isn't that long of a tunnel, but still. And close. And no, look, they're not unlit. They're just white. And this has no light in it, unfortunately. I mean, there are lights in the top, but they don't have light sources. That was a nice whistle. Okay, now resume shoveling. <laughs> I don't remember, did the bu big bus have a swimming pool? Um... I don't remember either. It could have. I know it had a piano, I know it had a bowling alley. I don't know if it had a pool or not. Grantham! Platform 1 up. Ah, uh, really nice. Nice, three really non lit gauges. That sounded great. It did. Bowling alley, yeah. Big Buzz had a bowling alley, didn't it? <laughs> I don't think it was the main plot point of that film. I'm still here, still shoveling coal. Yes, you are basically keeping this show on the <clears throat> tracks. Because without your coal shoveling, we would have ground to a halt. Again. It would be so nice if the if the HTs actually went at a reasonable speed because then it would seem much faster. Yeah, show on the road. Railroad? Nah, this is the UK. Exactly, that's why I said tracks.
Uh, I know that some were also called railroads in the UK, but still. Yeah, I know. I know. Twenty-seven miles to go. This feels much quicker than when I drove on this previously, even though this train is going slower than the other one did. Railway, plate road, railroad, plate way. Yes. Although there are differences, but yes. I mean just look at that, it's like a big grey and yellow slug that's just slowly slithering along. Just look at that. Something must be wrong with the quick drive in this. The quick drives do seem to be quite buggy on some of the maps. I mean, it's like it directs you onto a platform, well, onto a track with a platform that already has a train on it. There is no AI whatsoever. The AI is crawling along at very slow speeds on the main line. All things that we've encountered in our streams. This is actually quite a long curve. Center player. Huh. Interesting. Wait, is the injector still open? Oh, it is. Ah, that explains why we're having trouble accelerating past 93. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be open anyway. Ah, there's a tunnel. Let's quickly shut the fire box. Choo choo, yes. There you go. Let's see if we can get another nice exiting shot. There we are. Very nice. Oh, hold on. There we are. Much better. Much better. Bring. Oh, and we're going downhill. Okay, since we're going downhill, I'm going to shut the regular the uh the thing. What's it called? The injector, of course. And I'm going to see if we can accelerate past our previous top speed. Our previous top speed, I think, is 98.5 miles an hour. Oh, and I need to, of course, shovel. I need to shovel. I need to shovel a lot of coal. Please, everybody help. Shovel coal. Uh-huh. Ooh, ooh. Are we there yet? Much better. Better. Injector. Oh, We'd already, we've already gone there and back again. <laughs> Oh, we have? Oh. <laughs> are we still going downhill? Yes, we are. Good, good. It's not a massively steep incline, but it is an incline. Hmm. At least, yeah, the issue is that I don't have that much pressure. Okay, so I'll reduce the part of a little bit, just so we can generate a little bit more pressure a little bit more quickly. Because that means that we'll have more pressure per stroke. Silly hobbit hobbit sees. Hobbit says. Hobbit says. <laughs> I see. Hmm. I don't know how long this downhill grade will last. Master of the pressures, eh? Ha <laughs> ha save. Okay, we're back up to 242 PSI. So I'm going to now increase the regulator a little bit again. Now we're accelerating at a reasonable pace. 96 miles an hour. We've still got... We've still got the same downhill grade going. 1 in 178. We have to travel 178 meters to travel one meter down. Okay. Oh, 
almost. Uh, re I really just need more coal in the firebox at this point. Uh, it's leveled off a bit, 1 in 330. But I think it's gonna go become steeper again in a little bit. And in case you're wondering, the reason why I'm on this side of the locomotive most of the time is so that I've got the dark background against the text, so I can actually read it. Okay, a little bit more, there we are. Don't want to blow off. Okay, 98. 98.1, let's save. Buy them up fast. Reduce that a little bit. Dun 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 Now we're losing a little bit of speed again because but I am regenerating the pressure quite quickly. Good good. Um I've yet to s I have yet to see the movies though, I know, or read the, read the books. I don't have them myself, but I have heard of the, heard the voice. Silly hobbitsies. <laughs> but I have heard the voices. Gollum, isn't it? Mm hmm. Come on. No, I don't think we're gonna do it. I just. We don't have enough coal in the firebox. Going through it too quickly. And we've only got 15, well, 15 and a half miles to go. There and back again is the subtitle for The Hobbit. Oh, I did not know that. I didn't get that then. Yeah, we've almost used 2,000 gallons of water on this leg alone. Not leg less, leg alone. Yeah, and it looks like the downhill bit is going to end here, which is unfortunate. Mm. Yeah, and I, I can't shovel coal any faster than this. If I had had more coal at the top of that hill, then we might have been able to reach 98.5 miles an hour, but the way it was, no. Hmm, leg of lamb. Mm. Although, actually no, we are still, there's still a little bit of downhill thing there. But no, we need to refill water soon again as well. And for tutors? Yeah, basically. Okay, and I do need to now fill in more water again as well. And there goes the pressure because, well, the steam generation rate rather.
but it is necessary. Intercity Swallow, yes. Ten miles to go only. Well, ten and a half. Should be there in under five minutes. Well, what would it be actually? It would be like three minutes? Imagine flying Scotsman intercity swallow with a yellow smoke box and everything. That would be strange. <laughs> and rear of tender. What do you mean rear of tender? Smokes and everything. And rear of tender. What do you mean? I'll say no. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, what's that? Oh, another basically stationary HST, of course. Okay, and I'm keeping an eye on the steam generator here just to figure out what the optimal fire mass is. Of course, there are other factors such as the amount of water that I'm pumping in as well. So I think it's somewhere around 700 pounds. Interesting, there's a lake there. Yeah, it does appear to be around 700 pounds. A little bit less than that. Okay, 5.7 miles to go. Can you open close the roof hatches? I don't think so. Um, huh? what? Oh, maybe I can. What is that? Oh no, that's the whistle. Um, no, I, I really can't, unfortunately. Okay, I don't suppose we'll need any more coal because we are now less than four miles out. Less than four miles out. Probably at 90 miles an hour. Just a 
two minutes. Okay, <clears throat> I'm pretty much exactly two minutes out now. Let's just quick save. Uh, hello, Can Gaming. Welcome. You join me just as I accidentally trip the AWS again. <laughs> and I wanted to go in, but then I looked at chat and then... Ah. Uh, oh no. And there's Peterborough App Platform. Oh, and I, I literally just saved. Should I reload the save? Okay, well, I'll quickly reload the save, because I did just save and I was distracted by chat which the real driver would not have one moment plus the real driver would have a fireman too ah, also uh, plus the real driver would actually hear it what am I talking about the real driver would hear it uh, right I was about to ask if this was the beta n3b no 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 this is train simulator Duffield games train simulator I'm driving flying Scotsman from Edinburgh to London but uh, doing it in four legs so this is the penultimate, the third leg from York to Peterborough. And then we've got uh, next week, well, may probably not next week, because next, next week, next Monday, um, I'm going to do the new Human for Flat Level with in multiplayer with my friends. But um, the week after that is going to be the last leg from Peterborough to London, King's Cross. So, actually speaking of that, is there... Okay, I'm going to idle it now. There we go. Which means I can stop shoveling. Close that. I now just need to keep an eye on a lot of stuff. Okay, so we've got 1.4 miles to go. Let's just slow down a little bit. Um... Okay, well, that sounds fun. Could I participate in that? Yes, you know you're one of them. Wait. Oh, it tripped again! Because I looked at chat again. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Okay, tell you what, we'll quickly reload. And this time I won't look at chat until I'm stopped. <laughs> I don't like reloading in that way, but... Yeah. Okay, now, not going to look at chat until I've stopped at Peterborough. Okay, that was the first one. Okay, now I'll idle. I've got a mile to go until the 30 limit. So I'm going to start slowing down. Should be another AWS warning coming up. Yeah. 
And I guess that probably the signal at the end of the platform is red. Considering that, well, <laughs> well, it might uh, actually it might be yellow. Hmm. Okay, we're approaching the 30 limits. I'm going to release the brakes. Hey, the 30 limits started too soon. Again, with the thing with the junction. Although we are now approaching the platform. So I'm gonna apply the brakes. Might as well apply them all the way. Well, maybe not all the way. Oh no, it's actually green. Interesting. And here we are. <laughs> it's interesting because this station has a platform with, well, with pla uh, a track with platforms on either end. And let's stop here. And stopped. What time? Uh, 8.50. Good. <clears throat> Let me just write that down, because that is the time that I will need to set the next leg to start at. Well, 8.51. Okay. Right. Okay. Let's see. But if you stay in the cab, you'll hear it. Yes, I know. Also, the station's looking lovely. Uh, great platform signs as well. Peterborough. Very well readable. Love in the yellow markings near the platform edge as well. Very British. Also, like the station's canopy. Weird that it says Peterborough in the bottom, though. Hmm. Platform market name. Right here, 4472's staying here for two weeks. Ah! Wait, why ah? What do you mean ah? What do you mean, what do you mean ah? Present your fridge, comfort level exceeded 0.006% of the time. Where? Oh, down there. Ha 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 ha. Like, what? Yeah, I don't know. That's probably when the grade changed, because in this route, along with some other older ones, when the grade changes, it's like they've typed in the grade and then they've typed in the, another grade, and then it just suddenly switches, and so the locomotive, well, the train of jolts as it goes over that edge. And that's probably what did it. So yeah, 180 kilometers in 1.2 hours. Is that fair, though? No, it's not. So... Um, right, that is that. I'll quit Train Simulator. Hold on, that's not, I don't want Keynote. Hold on, I'll complete, I'll, qu I'll quit Train Simulator. And dot dot dot. I think that that will be that. Uh, planet coaster time? I don't know, I don't know. But the thing with planet coasters and a lot of the other... I, I do have lots of stuff that I would like to play in the MISC slot. But it's just that I would like to dedicate more than 24 minutes to it. Well, less than 24 minutes, given the time it would take to start and then to end and things like that. I mean, for example, I want to do bus driver as well, and City Skylines is another one, KSP a little bit more, and at War Fortress I want to give another go Stellaris, but it is gold. No, that would take longer. But all of those things... No, bus driver, I want to... No, because when I do do bus driver, 
then I want to do more than that. I would like to do... I, yeah, I don't just want to do mission one and two with, with the school bus and the other one. I would like to give it the proper time. And I don't want to go over time. So... Uh, yes, that is that, then. Two hours? What do you mean, two hours? What do you mean, two hours? Super Hexagon? <laughs> Not really in the mood for Super Hexagon. Or Bozonix. Uh, two hours of bus driver. Well, two hours would be great. Or maybe even just one hour, but... Anyway, so, that's that then. Thank you all very much for watching. This stream will be archived on YouTube, which you probably already know at this point. And I'll see most of you in two days for trains, Milton Valley, where we're actually making progress on the, on the other branch. So, good night. Bye-bye. More? What do you mean more? Half an hour more? Um, yeah, but I don't want to go over time. So, bye-bye. Bye, yes. Thanks for coming.